This will be our last uh, review on this channel for 2016. Movie-wise, at least. Yeah, I mean, for movies. Yeah. So, announcement. Come 2017, we're going to have a new channel. We're going to have a link down below so you can uh, sign up and subscribe to that. Yeah. If you want to check out our podcast, movie reviews, TV reviews, some other reviews yeah. uh, of other media um, that we'll be talking about. Um, yeah, should be a fun time. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, that'll be for 2017. T 2016, we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed. As the title says. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Harris. Dalibor. And as we stated, we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed. We just watched it. It's literally 12 a.m., uh, technically now Friday. Yep. Uh, it was Thursday. And, uh, yeah, we just watched it. It will be no spoilers, as the title says. Uh, I think from now on, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to yeah. talk no spoilers. We're just going to review the movie as what we thought of everything involved in making a movie. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like if we do good. a spoiler review, it should be later. Yeah, absolutely. Like after it's been cut yeah, out for yeah, a long after time. people have had the chance to watch yeah. it and stuff like that. So, basically, what we're going to talk about is the acting, the visuals, the script. And when we say script, we're talking about the lines that were delivered, the, the lines dialogue. that were going to be said in the movie, uh, the storytelling. We're going to talk about that. Uh, am I missing anything? Visuals, I think said? that's it. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be basically it. That's the, that's the main stuff that we're going to be talking about. Let's start out with, you know, real simple. Let's talk about visuals. Stunning. Yeah, like, I mean, what absolutely can you really say? Absolutely stunning graphics. I think they, they left some stuff out of the trailer that I won't spoil. Yeah. That is really cool. But I'm happy they did. I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure now that it's out, in the, like, by Sunday, it'll be in trailers. Oh, yeah, of course. But right now, I think it's really awesome. They, they left it out of trailers, so it looks it, it just looks really cool. It's a really great... It adds effect. to it. It adds, it adds a it lot adds to it. It adds a lot to it. It adds a lot to it. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't really feel like I have any problems with the visuals. Not at all. The only thing that for a second kind of threw me off, uh, it was the, pan, the like huge pan out at one point. Right. And I was like, oh. And then you pointed it out, and then it like dawned on yeah, me. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, duh, that's that's why. Yeah. Uh, but then the only other thing that, and it was just because I watch a lot of shows that take place, that take place overseas somewhere. Right. Uh, like I watch NCIS Los Angeles. I right, watch NCIS. Right, right, right. Well, they film a lot of that stuff, like, in the, the desert in California. Sure. So I was just like, oh, man, like, I didn't realize Spain had so much California desert in its, <laughs> in its landscape. I mean, listen, you know. <laughs> like, right in the opening sequence, I was like, oh, man, there's this, this a lot of California desert in Spain. Uh, listen, you you work but, for what you got, you but know? But it, it was just one of those things, like I said, like, I've seen those, like, sets before. Not right. sets, but I've seen those, like, places before. Yeah. So it was just, like, the creator in me, like, oh, man, that's, I know where that is. <laughs> For me, uh, the the present or future uh, in the movie, and then the past were, you know, if you know anything about Assassin's Creed, it's about him being able to relive his ancestors' memories. So you had the past and the future, or technically present at yeah, the time. Yeah, it was 2016. Um, both visually amazing. Yeah. Like, uh, what we saw in the lab with the Animus was amazing. Really cool what stuff. What we saw... Uh, for the past, for the the the, the attire, the yeah, the costume, the, the costumes, the costuming for that was perfect. Everything the, was great. I mean, really well done. I am so happy that they stuck to Spanish. Yeah, a yeah. lot of times yeah, when things yeah. are set in the past, we'll, we'll talk. A, well, let's let's talk about that in the dialogue. Let's but. Everything looked really good. I mean, you mentioned that like you recognize certain things that might have been yeah. in California. But I mean, desert. again, uh, it it wasn't anything that would take you away from it. Again, no, not it, at all. If you don't know it, you yeah. you're not gonna know. And it. I, I just I I've seen those it. scenes so many times right. now that I was just like, oh, I like I've seen this shot. Yeah, before. I didn't I didn't know it, so I didn't realize it. Uh, I thought everything visually was just done very well. It was, very it was well. really really well done. Very I well. have no problems with. I the don't visuals. think. Honestly, if, if anybody tells you otherwise, I think they're full of crap. But, yeah. you know, I know that's an opinion thing, but I don't know what else you want. Like, there was not one time I was like, oh, that's clearly CG or whatever. Not at one point was I thinking that. I was just really immersed in the visuals. Like, I, I liked it. I loved it. Yeah, well, 
let's talk about the story. Then. Let's talk about the story, and let's talk about what you just said. Let's talk about so you the fact that they stuck with a language. That was great. So the, the, the and I hate subtitles, but you know what? It just it made sense because a lot of a lot of movies. You know, they start with the the foreign language, but then they're like, okay, so that's that's what it sounds like if they're speaking it. But we're gonna switch it up to English, and I you're was, gonna see, assume. I, that I was just... expecting that when he was gonna when he like got there, yeah, like when he finally like was first person right, in the right, past, right. was that we were gonna switch to English because right. I've seen that a lot. I've seen that in other movies. I can't think of one specifically. I've seen, but they'll too. like be talking in in the other yeah. language. They'll zoom in on their mouth. And it'll switch to English. Yeah, yeah, because like you're supposed to be. You're, yeah, like, like now you're, you're a part of. You, right. you understand. Yeah, the language. you understand the language, so that's why they do that. And I'm, I'm actually happy that they stuck. It was with Spanish. great. It was I, great. I thought that was genius. I, uh, and I hate subtitles, but because it wasn't a hundred percent in that world, I think that's why it didn't bother me as much because there yeah. was so much more in the yeah, present. There was that a lot. There, there was a there lot. There was a lot of back and forth that it didn't bother me that they stuck with that. And I thought that was genius. I yeah. thought I think I think kudos on them for doing that, for sticking with that. I know um Fassbender was really big on making sure like things were done right in this movie. So I don't know if that's something that he discussed with them and said we should probably but I think that was a smart move. Yeah. I think as much as I hate subtitles, I liked it. I thought it was a cool I think it was really cool well thing. done. I think there was there's a great balance of of action and story in this movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, there were there were some moments and this will be the only time I mention it. I don't really want to talk about what I've seen other reviewers right, talk right, about. Right. But people have said that like certain things have been boring yeah. in this movie. I wholeheartedly disagree. Yeah. The 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 thing about this movie, this plot, this universe is that there is a lot of story. Like the whole concept is that you're getting, you know, the ancestors story. You're getting two yeah. things. You know, not everything is action. I mean like no, absolutely if you if you've ever played the games, a lot of it is walking around trying yeah. to find information. Yeah. Like skulking around. There's just not a lot of I Action, action. I, I like, think I feel. I feel like people were looking for big blockbusters. Uh, I think and that's so not too. What this and is. I think that would have been stupid. But I, and I, I think, think it would have been dumb. I would think, absolutely. I, I'm, you're talking about something that's involved deeply in the story of the ancestors, mm -hmm. and, and this is its own story, by the way. If yeah, you're it's a not, hardcore it's not part of the Assassin's games. Creed. I, I even made a mistake because it's been a while since I played the first game. Sure. It's been a long time. I used to, I haven't even beat the, technically the third game yet. So. Like I, don't, I completely forgot that w it was Desmond that was in the first game, and he is the main character that's always sure. there. He's the guy that's reliving all the ancestors, and then it was Altier that was the main first ancestor. I completely forgot that. Like that's how far I was like, man, that's. But it, it's similar, but it is its own story. I mean, the the concept is the same. You're reliving ancestors. Right. And and the and basic the plot basic plot point same. is the same, and then also with um, which is not a big spoiler, but in the games as well, the apple of Eden is a thing. Like that's not a spoiler. That that is, I don't know if they call it that, but that significant kind of device is a thing in the game. So it, it's not. You like said, but you said it's not in the first one, though, right? It's. It's not in the first one. You actually, I think, finally see it in the second game. Okay. I think towards the end of the second game. Yeah. So, but it's not like the main thing, right? It's like part it's of not. It. Yeah, it's it's part it's it's part of it. But you realize like after the story develops, what they're doing. Right. You know, at first you're just like, oh, they want to relive this guy's ancestor and get sure, some sure. kind of information. So, um, but I do like that it's its own thing. So if you're going into this movie and you're like, oh man, I'm gonna see it, Assassin's Creed number one. You're wrong. You're not. Yeah. You're going to see similarities. Yeah, so but this, is, this set... is its own story. And they want to go with that. And I think, honestly, kudos to them. I think I it was... Think I, it was I think... You know, you, yeah, you I think they, they really chose a great time period. It ties into the other games as far as the time period, as far as the things that are going on. Um, the only thing I will say that's really not... It's literally the first thing you see when they when the movie starts is the year is 1492. Right. So you take from that what you will. Yeah. Um, but it was really... Which, obsessive. honestly, I don't think it's a spoiler because you see the past world, so you can... Well, the, the, literally, the first, yeah. the first shot, they say yeah. Spain. I forget yeah. what city in Spain, but it said 1492. Yeah. And, and I was and, like, oh, okay. And you can tell, like, in the trailers, you can see that it's clearly a long freaking right, time. Right, right, right. So anything beyond now... 
Yeah, I mean, and I think from there to go into into dialogue, I think everything. I really didn't have any problem with anybody's dialogue. The only thing, the only issue I had, and this is kind of story and dialogue. Sure. Uh, this Erica and I talked about this on the way home. Uh, the 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 father and daughter relationship. It kind of, kind of took a weird turn. Um, just the way it was being told. Um, just when we first see them interact, it's kind of this like. We disagree, but I still love you. You're my father. Right. And then later, that just turns, like, sideways. And I wasn't expecting it to. Right. But then it also turns back, like, 180 degrees the other way. Right. So I just don't know what they were... I, I feel like maybe they didn't know what to do with her at the end. And maybe they messed with that. But I, I don't... Actually, I I see where you're coming from. I You know, I don't want to go into too much detail. Sure. So we'll discuss that a little bit later. But I, I, I think I understand what they were trying to do with that. Uh, and and we'll discuss that, but I, I see where you were coming from, where that could be kind of like uh, it was a little that's it was interesting. A, to I mean, do it was it way. wasn't like the Martha moment, right? Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like a hundred eighty degree turn. No. Uh, but no, it, I think it was a. Uh, it, it was kind of the only thing that kind of stood out to me. Right. Otherwise, I think everything was done really well. Yeah. I like, I think I'm, I mean, just, there's not you know besides you mentioning that, I really like for dialogue or any kind of script in the sense of what's going to happen in a scene or what's going to be said i had zero issues yeah i think everything like there was not one moment i'm like mm, that wasn't necessary yeah i think everything just played out well like yeah. really well i i i don't i mean we're going to continue going into the next part but like just to say it i don't think there's anything that i can say it was bad about this movie i, I think agree everything was either good or I agree. great i agree um Visuals, we said great. We said uh, story, story and dialogue is great. Yeah, that's great. And the actors, I think, delivered on every level. Yeah. I think that uh, Jeremy Irons was outstanding. I th it was interesting to see having... The last thing I saw was him playing uh, Alfred. Alfred. So to see like a really powerful character and really kind of poignant character to this more kind of withdrawn, more calculating mm -hmm. character... I thought that was really interesting. I mean, the man has range. I've seen him in so I many mean, different yeah, roles. You can't really that, argue you, against. It's what not he surprising. Can do it was just interesting to see, yeah. like the last thing versus the this next thing. Um, I think. I mean, obviously, Fastbender killed I mean, it, crushed let's it. Let's be serious. I've yet it's to watch Fassbender. anything Fastbender that right. I, I'm not fastbending about. <laughs> like it's he, he just does yeah, a great job. I, I, I can't even. I imagine. recognize the girl, but I cannot say from where. I recognize her, though. I, I'm going to say Tron, and we're going to check that. Marion Cotillard, Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, she was uh, 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 Raish, right? She Raish's was, daughter. Raish, she was Talia. Yeah, she was Talia. That's where... She was also in Inception. Yeah, I can't really remember her from Inception, but I definitely remember her from uh, uh, The Dark Knight. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, honestly... I, she did a good job. She she kept a, a good, like, I feel stoic kind of detachment mm -hmm. while at the same time really caring uh, which comes into play later in the movie absolutely uh, uh, I mean I I want to point out like all the characters that uh, all the actors and characters that were not as big in the movie did an excellent job at their yeah. roles I mean I think everybody just did phenomenal I, I honestly could not complain about the acting in this movie I actually really Cannot wanted to point out uh, I had to look him up I, I don't know his name I never know his name off the top of my head Michael Kenneth Williams uh, he kind of played this knowing side character mm -hmm. that really decimates at the end yeah and I was like man it, it, it he does a really good job yeah because they, they kind of have this setup where you know, you see this in the trailer where they show all the other people at the facility, mm -hmm. and he's one of the other people at the facility, and he kind of makes you believe that maybe he's crazy, right? And you're not really sure, yeah, because you know, there's all but that's this what I'm saying. Like, there's all this talk when he goes into the animus, like, oh, you had like, they call it like a personality separation or whatever, something like that. You know, yeah. like they had, you know, all these things, and all every time they talked about that, I kept flashing back to things like, um, uh, like the original. Uh, Total Recall, sure, yeah, where it was yeah. like any mind play, yeah. you could have a, a yeah, embolism yeah, 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 yeah. and you freak out and lose your mind. And I'm like, all I could think about was like, every time he's connected to that thing, I'm like, these people are there for how long? Like, I, they've been connected a thousand times yeah. by now. You know, they've gone nuts. Yeah. So uh, the first time I'm seeing all these people, like they're they're moving, calculating, they're moving. Right. But like, I'm like, these people are nuts. Yeah. Like they they, because you don't know why, you don't know the whole kind of overall thing at that right. point. So. It, when, when they when they come out, especially when he comes out, I'm just like, 
like is he for real? Right. Like, <laughs> no. like he's kind of he's kind of he may be crazy. Right. He might be crazy, but um, I think he did a great job. I think there's really not a lot to say. Everybody, even the guys that didn't have big roles, excellent job. So there was guys in the present that had very low roles but did an excellent job and then there was guys in the past that had very small That's roles. the general guys they're men and women yeah 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 i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm, my apologies men, men and women and i think everybody just did a great yeah. now don't get me wrong some some of them didn't have a lot of lines some of them had no lines some of them had no lines but but it was but it was just the way it was done was that's excellent. Thing. That's that's the thing. A lot a lot of Assassin's Creed, at least to me, from a story point of view, from a from a characterization point of view, a lot of it is like visual cues, right? You know, like eye motions, yeah. like little little nods, the way, little ticks. Yeah, the way they. So do. when you know you see these people that are just kind of staring at each other and they stare each other down and this, like you know what's going on, right? Like you everybody's aware. Hear, yeah. you don't need to, you don't need to hear a line Not out of somebody all. to to know that they know what's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. So I, I think acting was above bar. Since we spoke about uh, script and story, uh, and obviously acting, I also want to talk about the pacing. And this kind of goes into what you said. There, there were certain reviewers out there that said that certain things were boring. Honestly, I disagree. I yeah. Because as we said, you need both ends. You can't just have action in this in this story. If you do, you're gonna ruin the story because that's not the point of just action. It's about what's happening in the present and the past. Why is it happening? What is going on? So if you don't have that and all you have is just stupid nonstop action, I think this movie would have been at best entertaining and that's it. Right. I mean like if you look at stuff like that if you look at stuff that's all action, you gotta look at Transformers. Yeah, absolutely. Transformers is an all action Let's like, be serious. madhouse. Like you, you get I... you get ten, yeah. maybe twenty minutes of exposition at the beginning, and then it's just like CGI on CGI but fighting let, for let, the rest of the film. Let's be serious. You and I enjoy Transformers. Absolutely. But it's because of the entertainment. It's not because there's a great story right. behind it. It's not it like fake like plot that. you gotta Yeah. It's not stuff you're gonna just, think about for the rest exactly. of the week. Exactly. It's literally just entertain this this actually has explanation on what's going on why are they doing this there's so much here's happening. the thing this movie left me wanting more oh god yes. and you know that's something like transformers doesn't leave you wanting more transformers yeah. is like one and done and then let's go to the next one yeah but this is a movie that like i want to see what there's, happens there's next. like little strings they tug at these yeah. little plot strings and you're like wait wait, wait was, was that was that a really and you're yeah. like, can we can we talk about that for right, a minute? Right, right, right. Like, no, we're gonna continue with this, but now you know that. Now we're you gonna continue. Know. You're gonna think about that now for the rest know. of the week. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know what anybody else would want out of something like this. Uh, action is great, by the way. I mean, it's just amazing. The action yeah. sequences are yeah, just really, excellent. I can't even... I can't complain about it at all. The, all the parkour, you got, you all parkour was yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you literally got everything that you get in the so game. Good. You get, it was you get so the good. Horse riding, the jumping off the horse. You got uh, running uh, across buildings, uh, and and I do like the fact that like, uh, and this is not a spoiler. Like they're not always elegant, you know. In 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 the yeah. game, you can ma if you're good, right? If you get a hold of the controls, you can always roll out of a jump and be elegant yeah. about it. Here they show he, you like he crashed in that, yeah, in that main run sequence. Yeah, he crashed right yeah. into a thing. So like I love that. I love the fact that it, hey, they're badass, but they're human. They're right, not right. freaking yeah, perfect. Yeah. So uh, it's just, I think it was excellent. I I honestly. I don't know what else I would have wanted out of the first movie. No, you yeah, know, you, I think you it gave was, me a you gave me a beginning absolutely. of a story. You gave me a a great hey, beginning of a story. Oh yeah, absolutely. A great beginning. Of I story. will say this. I will say it's I not think, a cliffhanger ending or anything. Well, that's the that's what I was just gonna say. So we both put our chairs down, right? We were, and I'm like, man, they're gonna end it right here. This scene here, they're gonna end it right, and you know where I'm talking about yeah. where he's in the NMS right there at uh -huh. the end and everything, and they don't. And right. I'm like, holy shit. I was like, I was waiting. Yeah. I was waiting yeah. for that ending to happen and a giant cliffhanger. And it's not. And I'm happy with that. Yeah, right? I, thought they they gonna, an I thought they were going to draw out. Because it didn't feel like three acts at that point. But I'm like, alright, well this is kind of like the wrap up. Right. You know, I was expecting one or two more shots. Me and then too, it's going to be yeah. like, you know... Come back next time for the whatever. Right. And that would have sucked because if obviously well, the way movies work is if they don't make enough money, sure. you won't get a second one. So uh, I'm glad that they finished yeah. this story in yeah. its entirety. Yeah. They left those plot strings. They left 
they left a world for us to yeah. want to come back to. Absolutely. And what I will say is we don't even have to come have to come back to Michael Fassbender. We don't. Uh, Michael Fassbender can show up as like a father figure, as a you know, I a, mean, ace uh, assassin uh, kind of dude. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm giving that away. Michael Fassbender doesn't die. Well, like, <laughs> I mean, but yeah, but that's like saying in the video games, Desmond doesn't die. It's it's the guy that you're you're connected to. He's the it's main. The main character. dude you're following. Um, night. 90% of the movies, the main character usually doesn't die. So, right. um, Except for Rogue One. They all died. Spoiler? <laughs> that's not I really guess, a spoiler, I guess if you didn't though. watch A New Hope. If you didn't watch the originals, that's not a spoiler. Um, I mean, like, except that, I guess if you didn't read the opening crawl of right. A New Hope. Um, Jesus. <laughs> um, but it's just... Um, I, I truly... I don't know what else I would have wanted. I don't know what else... Everything was just done... I don't know what else to say. I think everything was done. Go great. see it. Go see the Go movie. See it. I think Please it needs to make money because make, I would like, love to see this story continue. I want to see where they go. With I'll this. tell you this. I don't even do Rotten Tomatoes. I'm gonna g jump on Rotten Tomatoes just to try to give it some help. Oh yeah, I agree, 100. Um, percent I do want to mention uh, you were talking about how Michael Fassbender doesn't have to come back. You're right because what they show in the movie, they can definitely do anybody else. Yeah. Because the way they incorporated there's so, that. There's so much more. I mean, there's so much more universe out there that even with how, how to phrase this, even with what we're left with at the end, right? You know, it's not a lot. No, but, but it's, it's but it can be built on. It can be built. You know. On. I mean, here's if, the if you know the first game, here's it's the, the Templars. So yeah. the Templars have done a lot of damage oh, by yeah. the end. I don't mean that's kind of their role in life, but they couldn't have gotten everyone, right? No, absolutely, absolutely. So and you can always say, you know, because right at the beginning, he's told by his father to go live in the shadows. Right. How many other kids were told to go live in the yeah, shadows? Yeah, exactly. exactly. There's there's a lot of assassins. Absolutely. Out there. No, I, I I completely agree with you. I I truly. I mean, here's the thing. Would we love to see Fastbender come back? Absolutely. Yeah. That's not even a. Sure. That's a stupid. question. Unless they're going to do an Overwatch movie, we both agree that he should play Soldier. He 76. should so be Soldier. There was just when that I, one when, scene, when and I was like, when you get that side profile, and plus the, how fit he was, he was bulk. He was he, he was up for this. He definitely because he's you. I mean, you've seen him as Magneto. He's not a big guy. Yeah, he, he definitely he, gained he some cut muscle mass. Cut out for that, yeah. Um. Great movie. I think for a rating for me, I, I think, honestly, I think this is the best video game movie adaptation. I I, I think it's better than Warcraft. It's, I think it's definitely better than I Warcraft. Think I, I, liked Warcraft. I liked Warcraft, I like, but I like this Here's way the thing. More. A lot of people didn't like Prince of Persia. I enjoyed it. Like, Prince of Persia. Still haven't seen it. You should watch it. Prince of Persia, I think, does. Yeah, I understand. I, 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 I like House of uh, House of the Dead. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, same here. Like, they, but like Prince of Persia, the like, bar it's is not like pretty that. low for video games for me. And I mean, the bar is Blood Rain. Um, yeah. So so if really, you haven't watched anything it, uh, above that don't. is entertaining for me. <laughs> um, or actually, if you haven't watched Blood Rain, watch it so you know what awful really is. And yeah. then when you say the word awful, you'll realize that what you're comparing it Compare. to please, is not the please. same. I, I just want everyone to set the bar. Like, yeah, there's, there's going to oh, be a bar. this movie was terrible. Yeah. Based on what? Based like, on what? Because we have, like compare we have two movies, right? God Awful is Blood Rain. Awful, God Awful is Blood Rain. I Bad still, to Terrible I mean, is the new Fantastic Four. Yeah, so Fan anything... Force in that range, like as long as you do better than that, you're good at least. You're, Minimum, yeah. you're good. Yeah. Um, but I, I give it eight out of ten. I give it eight out of ten. And I think that's what I gave Warcraft too. I want to say, but I give it eight out of ten. I think it I'm, is I'm still gonna, better I'm gonna, than I'm going to give it eight and a half. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, I eight and a half. I, I have to give it an eight and a half. I thought I might be going too far if I said eight and a half. No. Uh, I think eight eight and a half is definitely eight, where it's supposed to be. Eight and be. a half, without really much hesitation. I I, no. I, I have no. I have no problems have, with it. I mean, and like I, I said, watched the new the minor, Hitman, the minor and problems. that was insane. But I still enjoyed it because of entertainment factor, and that was a ridiculous movie. So, th like this is nowhere. Like this is way beyond Hitman, and definitely better than Warcraft. And we we enjoyed Warcraft. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of new. Uh, actors that haven't maybe necessarily been in a lot of roles that we, a lot of people would have seen. I, I, I like. But I mean, we've talked. About that, we've talked about work, but I'm saying this is definitely better than that. And absolutely. that was a really good. Movie. Absolutely, I think. I think I agree with you. I think this is the absolute best video game adaptation movie yeah. ever. I mean, and you know, we've. I 
And I loved Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, yeah, yeah we did. Yeah we did. And that was... And that's that's even if I include the entire Mortal Kombat franchise, counting Conquest, which was freaking great. Well done, Machinima. Yeah, Machinima kicked ass on that. But, yeah, I'd say eight or eight and a half. I would even agree with you with giving it an eight and a half because I think I gave Warcraft an eight. So I can't even imagine why I wouldn't give it an eight and a half. There's nothing... I honestly... I mean, the reason it's not a nine or a ten is like... Maybe there's minor things if I really nitpick through it that I could say easily like this. This could be adjusted sure, sure, sure. or this. But overall, this is an excellent movie, and I think it deserves to make money. I think it deserves to continue. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, you're. Here's the thing. Don't go in expecting. Uh, what's a amazing film, right? A phenomenal movie. Uh, the Win- Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. So yeah, phenomenal it, it, Dark don't Knight. Expect don't the accept. Dark Knight. Don't expect Winter Soldier. Yeah, don't expect it's uh, not, Winter Soldier. But it is an excellent movie. It is really it good. Is just, it is really damn good. It's entertaining. It, it, there's nothing that ever takes me away from it. Yeah, absolutely. That's the thing. You're always saying. you're always in the movie. You're always in the world. Every every little move, every little cut, every little little angle that they do. You always want more out of it, and yeah. I feel like that's something that a movie needs to do. Right, and this accomplishes it. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. I mean, really, eight and a half out of ten agreed upon. Agreed, absolutely, hundred percent. That's it. That's yeah. it for this last review, last yeah. movie review of twenty sixteen. Absolutely, appreciate you guys for watching. Come back next year. On the new channel, all the, the links are in the description below. Down below, down below. Uh, I think we're gonna figure out. The podcast, though, <laughs> we'll figure out. The we'll figure it out. SoundCloud. I mean, I think we might just end up putting it on the site, which yeah. is going to be reworked soon. Not quite for twenty seventeen, but soon enough. But soon. Enough. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. See ya.